back in the summer I went for a fairly longish ride and when I got to about the 70 kilometer mark I started to cramp up really really badly so much so I had to get off the bike and try and do something about it because I just could not cycle any further and then similarly when I did my last 100 kilometer ride I went to bed that night and I must have turned in my sleep or moved my leg the wrong way and I woke up with the most excruciating cramp that I just could not do anything about. And that started me thinking, what causes cramp and what can you do to prevent it? From what I can make out of it, cramp is caused by fatigue and a lack of electrolytes. Now if you've been cycling for any length of time you would have heard all about electrolytes but for the record they are chemicals which when dissolved in water conduct electricity and they include things like potassium, magnesium, calcium, phosphorus and bicarbonate. At the risk of grossly oversimplifying things our bodies are essentially electrical devices and the messages that go from our brains to our muscles telling them to contract are in the form of electrical impulses traveling down things called neurons. Now under normal conditions this all works fine and dandy but when you're on the bike and you're sweating hard you're losing those electrolytes, the conductivity of your body is compromised and those messages are less likely to get through and when that happens that's when things start to go wrong and you experience things such as cramp or possibly worse. Equally though, if you can restore that conductivity by taking on extra electrolytes, you can improve that flow and potentially avoid all of these issues. In addition to helping to improve muscle function and prevent cramp, electrolytes can also help hydrate the body they can also balance blood acidity and blood pressure and they can also reduce tissue damage so they're all round pretty important things as you can imagine being a cycling youtuber i get sent loads of electrolyte products to test out and they all claim to do this that and the other and goodness knows what else so it's very difficult to work out which one is going to be the best to use. So today let's decide once and for all which one is the best and have a battle of the electrolytes. Now I know that sounds like some kind of Japanese manga anime and as much as I would love to have some wide-eyed cartoon character on here it's going to be some pseudo-scientific number crunching of a selection of products that I've been sent in the last few months or so. Now one of the first things that I've noticed is that many of these have fruit or particularly lemon orange flavors to them and that kind of suggests to me that they contain vitamin C. Now don't be fooled they don't and even if they did vitamin C is more to help with fighting infections rather than electrolytes. Like I say, I get sent a lot of electrolyte products uh, and I, I've been sent quite a few more than this but I've just thought I would do this test on a selection of the more popular ones. So as you can see we've got things like ORS hydration tablets, Zero, um, the High Five hydration tablets, uh, SIS uh, and Fizz tablets, Barocca. We've got um, Revival. SOS and we've got um, Mineral Republic Honest Electrolytes. Today's tests are going to be very simple and very straightforward and I'll be arranging these products in order of their electrolyte content and for the sake of brevity I'll only be doing the top three. Now these products contain all kinds of various electrolytes and again for the sake of brevity I'll only be focusing on the three most important ones and that's magnesium, potassium and calcium and I'll also be looking at the cost per serving. So without further ado let's arrange these products in the top three for their magnesium content. Da -da -da -da. Here we have the top three products 
in order of their magnesium content. And for the record, as your magnesium deficiency worsens, you can experience things like numbness, tingling, cramps, muscle spasms, and possibly even seizures. So yes, it's very good to have plenty of magnesium in your body. So first up, we have the Fizz. Uh, they, they come in tablet form and their magnesium content is, let's see, 56 milligrams per serving. And then we have the good old High Five and their magnesium content is again 56 milligrams per serving. Then we have something a little bit unusual. We have Barocca here uh, and that uh, magnesium serving is 100 milligrams per serving. Uh, and then we have a company called uh, Mineral Republic and their Honest Electrolytes and their magnesium uh, uh, content per serving is 120 milligrams. So as you can see, there's considerably more uh, magnesium in this one than in all the others. So again, without further ado, let's look at these products in order of their potassium content. So here we have the top three products in order of their potassium content. And again, for the record, when you start losing potassium from your body, you start experiencing things like constipation, fatigue, muscle weakness, and general malaise. So third in order, we have this product called ORS Hydration Tablets, and its potassium content is 193 milligrams per serving. And then we have this product, which is the Revival Rehydration and Recovery Electrolyte Drink Mix and its potassium content is 300 milligrams per serving, so um, quite a bit more than the ORS. And then top, we have again the Honest Electrolytes from Mineral Republic, and that has a staggering one gram or 1,000 milligrams per serving, so just way ahead on potassium there for Mineral Republic. And finally, let's take a look at the top three for their calcium content. So here we have the top three products in order of their calcium content. And as you can probably imagine, a deficiency in calcium can lead to things like reduced bone density. So third on the list, we have Barocca. So that's quite surprising. Uh, and it's got a calcium content of 100 milligrams per serving. And then we have the good old SIS product, um, and it has a calcium content of 102 grams per serving. And again, top of the tree, we have Mineral, Mineral Republic and their Honest Electrolyte, and that has a calcium content of 120 milligrams per serving. The last test I'm going to do is just to arrange them in order of cost per serving. So here we go, here are the top three in order of price per serving. And the first one, we have the SIS product, and that comes in at 30 pence per serving. And then we actually have a joint first between Barocca and High Five, and they're coming in at 21 pence per serving. Judging things purely on a cost per serving basis is all fine and dandy, but you have to ask yourself, are you getting true value for money? Now, while these two are the cheapest at 21 pence per serving, and this is the next cheapest at 30 pence per serving, you are lacking something here. So for instance, the High Five has zero potassium content. The Barocca, has only nine milligrams of calcium, and the SIS has only eight milligrams of magnesium. It really is swings and roundabouts, but in my opinion, the best all rounder is going to be the Honest Electrolytes from Mineral Republic. Now, while it may be the third most expensive at 42 pence 
per serving. It scores really high on all three of those really important electrolytes. I'll be completely honest here and say that I crunched all of these numbers a little while ago and I knew the results of these tests before I sat down and started filming today. And with that in mind, I've already been testing out the Honest Electrolyte product. And I have to say that um, so far it's been working out quite well. I've not really had any experience of cramping on the bike, so, um, so that's all good. And plus, I think the taste of it is quite nice as well. Uh, it's, it's fairly lemony and it's quite a sharp lemon taste. And as you would imagine, it also has kind of a hint of saltiness due to the electrolyte and mineral content. And if you're into that sort of thing as well, it's also vegan and sugar free. So there we go, that's the lowdown on electrolyte products. Hopefully that's reduced the confusion around them and you can now go out and buy yours with complete confidence. If you'd like to watch some more videos that will help you get the most out of your cycling, please click on the one coming up in the end screen. But in the meantime, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.